Hey guys, so today's video is for those who are learning a new language. I know how difficult it can be and how frustrating it also can be. So I just wanted to share with you guys some embarrassing stories that I've had um, while speaking Korean. So first, when I started learning Korean, I had a friend teach me the alphabet, the Korean alphabet. And it was fairly easy, I learned it pretty quickly. And so one day at work, I was kind of bragging like, oh yeah, I can write in Korean now. Just give me a word and I could write it down. So they gave me words like, omma, appa, hyang nuna, and stuff like that. Harmony and harawaji. And at the time, I, I spelled it like how I thought it was supposed to be said. And so when I spelled haraboji, I spelled it haraboji instead of haraboji. Now, my Korean is not perfect, but now I know that that is incorrect. And actually, ji means something else because when I showed it to my friends, all they did was laugh hysterically and I didn't know why and I was extremely embarrassed but I didn't know what the word meant. They wouldn't tell me so I had to go find out for myself and to my understanding it is uh, a lady's business. Ladies business if you catch my drift. <laughs> so after a while my Korean got a little better. Um, one day with uh, Anuna that I was working with I was gonna go tell her. Now excuse me if this is too much information but I was gonna go tell her, I'm gonna go take a dump. And so I directly translated that. And so I said, 똥 만들어 가요. Which means, I'm gonna go make poop. Which made sense in my head. And she understood and she laughed, but I didn't know she was laughing because it was just completely wrong. So I, I learned later that the verb for pooping is 쌌다. But I actually prefer the way I say it. It's just more fun because you make it, right? This is stop. We're gonna stop with this one, okay? This other time, I went to a concert and the the performers were Korean and they were, they were three sisters, I believe. I bought their CD. Anyways, they, after the show, they had like a meet and greet. And so I went, I went by myself because I have no friends. Y'all know that. But I was telling them, hey, you know, that, you guys were so cool. That was so fun. I really enjoyed it. I also mentioned to them that I was learning Korean. I said, hey, I'm learning Korean. It'd be cool if you could write your names in Korean. They were like, yeah, sure. Well, you know, what What do you know? What can you say? I said something like, What? Say it again. The ladies behind me, the ajumas, there were Korean people behind me. They overheard me and they just laughed. And I was getting hot and my ears were turning red. I was like, did I say it wrong? I say it all the time at work. I always announce that I'm going to the bathroom. No one ever said I was wrong. And so I was really embarrassed and only to find out later when I learned how to spell the word that it's actually hua zhang xiu, hua. And so I learned my lesson there, but I didn't learn it until later. And I was just there being embarrassed. And those ajumas were just laughing at me. Nobody corrected me. Why? If you know Korean at all, if you watch, you know, variety shows or K-drama, you know there are different ways of speaking. There is 존댓말, which is like formal language, and then there is 한말, which is casual, the way you speak with your friends or people that are younger than you. And for me, that's exactly how I took it. Um, when I went to Korea, um, it's very common that they ask you your age just to see where you where you stand in this relationship. I got used to people asking me, and then I would ask people how old they were. And as soon as I found out they were younger than me or the same age, I would immediately use panmai because I thought it was okay, but it's really not. To my understanding, even people who are younger than you, you should use the Yo form, which is still a formal way of speaking, um, just to be polite. Otherwise, you just seem really rude and kind of asshole-like if you just immediately start using panmai. No one ever corrected me or said I was being rude, but I later found out that Korean people don't just immediately use the casual language when they find out someone is the same age or, or they are younger than them, you kind of have to have some sort of relationship, not just on the first meeting. I learned that and only to look back like, oh my god, how many times was I extremely rude to somebody that I had just met? Alright guys, so I just wanted to share with you guys um, some of my embarrassing experiences 
learning Korean. I hope that it can help you, you know, like not be so afraid to learn another language and try to speak it because you're too scared you're gonna embarrass yourself because you are and you just kind of have to accept that. You might not learn right away. You might learn like years later and then look back and be like, oh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.